Hello YouTube, I'm Toby and today I am tackling uh, what may be a uh, bigger project that I've uh, had before. Now this is the project I'm talking about. These are all components for an iMac uh, G5 that I bought for cheap online because it's pretty much already disassembled and uh, it needs new capacitors. Now if we take a look at the uh, motherboard here first, uh, we have our little well, the spots for our capacitors, and we have the old ones right here. Uh, they're already taken out, and I can see that this one is bulging out. This one has got stuff coming out of this, and this one also has stuff coming out of it. And over here we have the new capacitors that I'll be putting in uh, the motherboard. But I've actually never completely disassembled an uh, iMac G5 before, so it is definitely going to be an interesting project for me. Now if we take a look at the other components for this computer, we have three sticks of RAM, uh, one gigabyte total, this one is 512 megabytes, these two are 256 megabytes, giving us a total of one gig. This is our hard drive right here, it's an 80 gigabyte uh, Barracuda hard drive. And down here, I don't know what this thing is, uh, but it came out of the uh, casing over here, so I'm assuming it's got to go back in but I'm not entirely sure where it's supposed to be. Now I also got some accessories with the computer. Uh, we got the power cord, one of these uh, optical mice, a display, well I think this is a display port to a VGA uh, adapter, but I'm not entirely sure. We also have a keyboard. Uh, it does look quite dirty every now and here, but I'm sure I can fix it. And over here we have some more components, I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it seems like it's aluminum. And we have our DVD drive right here. Here we have the back side of the computer, uh, not much to uh, look at from over here. And here we have the uh, screen, um, it looks like all these screws that are supposed to be here are actually here. Uh, they're screwed in, so I'm hoping there aren't any uh, missing. This is the foot right here for the uh, computer itself. Now it does look like I'm going to have to clean uh, a lot of these components out uh, while I have it. I want to give it some compressed air, especially in the uh, heatsink right here for the uh, G5 processor. And if I can't figure anything out, I'll also always have my uh, other iMac G5 to open up and uh, look at how that looks, just so I can figure out how to build the other one. Alright, so I had some stuff I have to take care of, so it is the next day now and I've already spotted the first issue with this uh, with this build. Now I have a lot of capacitors but all of these are 6.3 volt uh, 1800 microfarads but I need uh, 5 capacitors of uh, what's that 16 volt 1000 uh, microfarads. Now I've already ordered some new ones so they should be here soon but that doesn't mean we can't solder in the 6.3 volts ones uh, today. Now yesterday I may have told you that this was a uh, display port to VGA uh, connector. I don't know uh, why I said that, but it is obviously a mini VGA to a full-sized VGA. Also something else of note, that I, I'm not sure I uh, touched on this yesterday, but I have two RAM slots, but three sticks of RAM. I don't know if one of these is broken or whatever, but yeah, maybe I may have gotten a free RAM stick. As you can probably tell, um, the guy already sorted in some capacitors, I'm counting five, but he didn't do a very good job. You can see this one is pretty loose, this one is... Uh, I could also do with the re-soldering job. This one up here, it's loose. This one is a little bit loose, but it's better. And this one is loose as well, so... I'm definitely gonna have to... Um, Resolder those. Now, why are all these uh, capacitors failing in the iMac G5s? Well, these capacitors that Apple installed back in the day are garbage, and they actually had a program to replace them with the new ones. But obviously, this computer is way outside of its warranties, um, extended warranty period, so uh, I'm going to have to do this myself, which I actually don't mind doing. I like this kind of work, although it's been a while since I've actually soldered the last time. Now this is one of the uh, 16 volt 1000 microfarads capacitor. As you can see it's actually in fairly good shape but I would have taken these out as well. Um, but the uh, 16 volts go in these rows right here. I'm not 
100% sure which ones right now. I'm gonna have to look it up, but everything else is the uh, 6.3 volts. So all of these right here are 6.3, but these are the 16 volts. Now I'm gonna go get me some uh, breakfast. Uh, if you can't tell, I just got up. I think my hair might even look like morning hair, but yeah, I'm gonna go get me some breakfast, a cup of coffee, maybe watch a few YouTube videos, and then I'm gonna start uh, fixing this board. Alright, so as it turns out, there's too much, still too much solder in these solder joints, and there's still some legs over here, here and there left in these solder joints. So I'm gonna have to wait a couple days until the new capacitors and my uh, soldering wick comes in. Um, until then, this board is pretty much uh, well dead in the water. But I'll get back to you once I get those uh, materials. All right. So while I'm waiting for my uh, new caps and my uh, soldering wick, I uh, decided to remove the uh, large heatsink right here. And I um, believe this is the uh, graphics chip right here, uh, NVIDIA GeForce FX uh, 5200 Ultra. And I'm not sure, but I think this may be the CPU. It looks looks CPU-ish, actually, <laughs> if that's even a word. But anyway, I've just been cleaning off old thermal paste, reapplying Well, I'm going to reapply it. Also put the back side of the monitor, well, of the computer, onto the foot. So that at least that is taken care of. But I'm just going to reapply some thermal paste on here and put the heatsink back on and I'm pretty much out of things to do for now. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but there's no airport card in this uh, computer. So when I finally, well if I manage to get it uh, working, I will have to bridge connect it to another uh, Mac just so I can access the internet. But for right now I'm just going to put this thing back together and uh, wait for my components. Now I've been uh, taking some parts out and playing around with the uh, some of the parts here and I realized I may actually need a bunch of screws to secure the motherboard in place. Uh, I wasn't able to find these in the bags that came with the computer so I had to look through my uh, screw bin to see if I could find some and I actually did manage to find some screws that seems to to fit the uh, well the screw ports in the system but I do not have uh, enough of the right kind of screws to uh, uh, secure everything in place so I am currently going to look through all my stuff just to see if I have some weird screw lying around that somehow fits into these little holes here so that I can actually secure all the components in place alright so I finally got the uh, last components uh, I'm hoping um, I got, what, seven of these uh, 25 volts, um, 1000 microfarads uh, capacitors. I believe I only need six, but I got seven just in case. Uh, I can just screw something up and still have another ch chance of making it work. But the original capacitors that were supposed to be in this area right here, um, they were, uh, what's that, 16 volts, 1000 microfarads, but the 25 volt ones were about half the price and from what I know you can always go up in voltage as long as the uh, microfarad rating is the same and you, but you can go down in voltage that will cause some major issues uh, from what I know I also got some soldering wicks so I can uh, clean the back side of this board I've never used this before so I am <laughs> quite excited to see if I can actually make it work now I haven't soldered in uh, I think it's almost 10 years or something and it's quite evident because I really suck at it. Uh, I tried it earlier today for a while and it really didn't work out for me. I still can't get these uh, little spots cleaned off and the remaining legs out but right now it's raining outside so I can't really do much outside so I'm back inside where I'm gonna well give it yet another shot. Now this is the uh, sketchiest thing I have ever done. I think I've got all the connectors in the right place but some of the remaining legs and all that shit I couldn't get out and the solder was extremely rugged so I had to uh, reroute some cables in order to <laughs> well actually get a fair attempt to uh, seeing if this thing will actually work but let's put it back in the computer and <laughs> see if uh, if by any miracle this actually works.
So far, so good. Uh, I think I have everything plugged in where it's supposed to be. Uh, I still need a few screws here and there, but we are almost ready to, uh, well, yeah, test this thing out. Now, before I test it out and before we get further into this video, although we're already quite far into the video, but do not use my uh, soldering techniques or, well, whatever you call this right here, this clusterfuck down here. Don't, don't do that. Uh, I have not soldered for, what, 10 years now, and uh, I couldn't really figure some of the little leftover pins out. I do not have the right equipment to accurately do this kind of stuff. I just, I got impatient, I wanted it to try, uh, try it out, and, uh, well, might as well do some experimenting while I'm doing it. So, I'm going to upload this video, whether or not this works. Uh, if it doesn't work now, I'll fill with it tomorrow. But whether or not I get this thing to work, I will still upload the video, um, just so you can <laughs> hopefully learn from my experience. But let's try and uh, put in the last few screws and uh, test it out. So we are just about ready. Just got to plug in the power cord. And no explosions, let's try the uh, button. Oh, just going to turn the light off. No fucking way. Well, something's definitely happening, but... No way. No fucking way that... Oh my god, this thing... <laughs> oh my god, it actually worked! Holy cow! Holy fucking cow, how did that actually work? Wow! Shit! You know, I have to admit, I never actually thought that this would work. Just made some weird noise, but <laughs> still seems to, <laughs> to work. Anyway, as I was saying, I had no actual... I actually didn't believe that <laughs> this would work. I honestly cannot believe that this actually worked. See, the mouse is moving. No, uh, this looks like it's trying to boot into an... Wow, there's actually an operating system on this thing. Holy cow. Ignore. Wow. Shit. I cannot believe that this actually worked. I am genuinely surprised. I did not actually expect this to work. Alright, so I just needed some time to uh, take it all in. I uh, still can't believe this thing is actually working, but I thought we'd take a look at some of these specs right here. Running Mac OS X version 10.5, we got a 1.8 gigahertz power PC G5 processor. However, we only we uh, sorry. However, we only have 256 megabytes of DDR SD RAM. Uh, which tells me that the 512 megabyte stick is not working. But usually when RAM doesn't work, the computer won't boot, on, uh, boot up. Or at least that's my experience, but I guess it did. It, <laughs> it did this time. Now, just for good measure, I thought I'd uh, try uh, out some of the different things about these computers to uh, make sure that it works. As it turns out, the uh, volume button works. Uh, Obviously, I can't go online since I don't have an airport card in here, but I thought we might as well try and uh, put a CD in here. Alright, so the CD won't go in, so I've definitely fucked something up uh, regarding the uh, CD drive, but I don't feel like that is a major issue at this point in time. Uh, should be an easy fix. Well, maybe there's already one in there. Let's see? Nah. There's nothing in there, but the computer seems to work just fine. So I am as happy as I've ever been. Alright, so I guess that was my video. I honestly thought this would be a uh, much longer video and I thought it would be a much longer project, but apparently I have more skills than I originally thought I did. Nah, I'm just kidding. I may have just gotten lucky. Still can't believe it worked, but for some reason I am now a master technician. Or something like that. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.